Hey everybody, Ash here for the Triple S League, and today I'm going to be showing you where to find all of the park medallions in Nuka World, which is a, a quest given to you by the robot Nira. And I'm going to be showing you how to find the medallions starting from the nearest fast travel point, working clockwise around the park. Now I'm going to assume that you've been to these locations before and have cleared out the enemies, and are able to access all of the doors that are not necessarily accessible, you know, the first time you get to the location. But even if you haven't been to these locations before, you'll still get an idea of where the medallion dispensers are located. So the first one I'm going to show you is in Vault Tech Among the Stars. Uh, when you fast travel here, it takes you to the front door, but we're not going to go in the front door. We're going to go in the back door. Um, so from here, turn left, head down this ramp here. When you hit this landing, go all the way across and then further down this ramp here toward the Starlight Interstellar Theater. Head past the theater, past the merry-go-round thing, and head up these ramps here. Uh, head into this hallway, turn left, and you're now at the back door to Vault Tech Among the Stars. So once you're in here, just head straight forward and turn right, and the medallion dispenser's in this corner here. Um, now this is right beside the exit to the vault tour. So if you're coming through here for the first time, you'll go through this whole uh, fake vault tour thing where they're talking about a vault in space. Anyway, the medallion dispenser is right beside where you come out at the end of it. The next one is in Nuka Galaxy. It's also near the back door of the attraction, but unfortunately this time we can't use the back door to get in. So we'll have to take the long way. So uh, just head in through the entry the way you would normally go. You're going to navigate through a bunch of uh, crowd control lanes and staircases and things. Apparently this was a very, very popular ride in its day. So there's lots of... Uh, <laughs> there's a long way to go. Uh, so head down this ramp toward where you would board the ride if you were a patron here. Um, head through this doorway. And this doorway might be helpful to have your Pip-Boy light on here. Head across this sort of maintenance area here, up this, these steps, turn left, go through here, past the alien animatronics. Now from here, you can hop down onto this rock, and then right onto the coaster track. Now, I don't know if this is the fastest way to get to the end of the ride, but it is certainly the most interesting way. Kind of gives you an idea of what uh, the ride would have been like for people who attended the park uh, before the war. When you hit this part, you have to sprint to make it up this incline, so you might want to save up your action points and just... Um, with a little bit of sprinting and jumping, you can uh, make it all the way up here. Just be careful you don't get too far to the side and fall off, and uh, then just uh, continue your way uh, down the track. Once you hit this part, you're at the end of the ride. So uh, just hop off, head up these stairs, and the medallion dispenser is right here. And then you can continue heading up this way and out the exit door. And this is why we couldn't enter through the exit door. Um, this, uh, this bridge is completely broken. I don't know, there might be a way to get up here um, if you have power armor with jetpacks or something. But anyway, couldn't get in this way, but you can still fast travel from here uh, to your next area. The next medallion is at Mad Mulligan's Minecart Coaster um, here in Dry Rock Gulch. So uh, just head into the mine. And this one's really easy to get to. Just head into the gift shop here and it's right behind the door. Now, if you haven't been through here before, you'll have to go the long way around, but you will wind up in the gift shop at the end. The next one's at Cappy's Treehouse in Safari Adventure. So just head in through this entryway tunnel, turn right, turn left, turn right, turn left, turn left, and then turn left. You'll see another one of these tunnels. From here, there's only one way to go, so just follow the path around. Now, what I want to know about this place 
Because where are these animal noises coming from? Like those, those can't possibly be real animals. Okay, you'll hit this elevator, so just take it up into the treehouse. And the medallion dispenser is right over here. And uh, the nice thing about uh, this location is even though you're sort of inside, you can fast travel right to the next location, which is the world of refreshment at the Nuka-Cola bottling plant. This one's Business tricky. Turn left and walk about customers. five feet. And at the there entrance it is. to the Stampede Carousel. The next one's found at the entrance to the Nuka Racers ride, and the nearest fast travel point is the Fun House. So once you get to the Fun House, just turn a 180, head over this way, past the Rockets ride, and follow the tracks until you get to the uh, Nuka Racers, and the medallion stand is right here. And finally, the last medallion is found at the Ferris Wheel, which has its own fast travel point. So uh, just head this way through the broken fence, and you'll find the medallion dispenser right here. So that's it. That's how you find all of the park medallions in Nuka World. Hope this has been helpful, and thanks for watching. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot when you do that. Also, join us over at Sugar Bond for community, discussions, and gaming news.